much love. Back to do what I do. And that's to keep myself inspired, to lift oneself and you. Because it's always good to get out what's inside of you. Because it's good to express, you know, it cleanses you, cleanses the soul. So go on a ride with me, my brothers and my sisters, my soldiers and soldierettes. Salute! We never know what the future will hold and what things will happen down the road. That's why I always call down protection from my great, great creator for ourselves, from ourselves. So we don't be our own worst enemy. I'm going to change it up. Time to take it to another level, my brothers and sisters, friends, family. That's why I always give honor to my ancestors, those that paved the way to give us what we have today and to live and see our generation grow, see ourselves grow, see each other's inner glow and respect each other's challenges, talents, because everybody got something to bring to the table if they look deep within. So I give honor to my ancestors, my grandparents, may my dad rest in peace and in power, my mom still alive. And I give honor to your family, any one of you that have someone you held dear, that helped value in your life. May they rest in peace and in power and as those are alive in your family and mine, may they be prosperous and may everything that they touch, everything that we touch, turn to gold because it's about lifting and teaching and reaching. And let's be a curse breaker. Let's break that generational curse that we all are aware of and know about. And I can critique it a little bit and talk about it, which I will. But those with the high vibration know the curse that has been with many of us for a long time. And a lot of us have diminished that curse. But it's been, you know, when you've been knowing a certain thing and certain traditions for a long time. You know, the old saying, go, old, old saying goes, old habits die hard. But... At the same time, you kill that habit. You know, you stay at it. You stay consistent, persistent. And this goes with anything, especially when it comes to a challenge and it's dealing with family and life. And of course, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Because the time has come, my brothers and sisters. And, you know, I always got to say, I don't think I know everything. I'm not the know-all, see-all. But when you take those times of study and you see those signs and that great, great creator, power of the universe, sends those signals to us. And those with a high vibration, we know what that feels like. And we, you know, the way the world is, you know, things that happen, distractions and things in society that transpire, you know, tend to a divide, you know, the old phrase divide and conquer so that's why a lot of individuals think different ways and i put i put quotations believe in certain things because i used to believe too and i don't talk on this issue too much because i've actually learned about that word belief from other teachers and and i reason why i teach it now because it is so true and if you look it up and I've heard this from a great teacher, great brother. You know, I've heard this from some sisters too. I've heard this from many brothers, but one particular brother I've heard this from. If you look up that word belief, it would change your whole perception of what the word belief really means and what it really is. And it will make you stop using it. And that's just like other things that we can look up, like phrases we use, we are so used to and we just say all the time, but we really don't know the real meaning. When you're in tune with yourself, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure a lot of you, if you're on a high vibration, you know this. There's certain things you just won't incorporate into your life anymore. You know, you look up things, you're like, wow. You know, 
It'll change your whole view of the world over the horizon, as I always say, over, above, and beyond. And keep that spirit high. Stay investing. When I say high within, you know, keep leveling up. You know, you never get to a point where you say, oh, I'm good. No. It's so much work to be done in this world. That's why you have to take moments like this, like now. And it's not always just speaking, but just take those those moments and just kind of slow things down. You know, especially those of us that work jobs, because I do have a job. And I don't mind mentioning a little bit of, you know, some of my life so I can relate to others. You know, so we can meet each other on a on a good plane, you know, and overstand each other and agree to disagree and just flow and keep it flowing because what do you always hear me say ladies and gentlemen we cannot disrupt that flow of the universe and i'll explain why i always say that when you've been through trials and tribulations and things that are you know maybe some heartache you know and you look back on them and you see how you've overcome and I'm not just speaking on myself I'm speaking on any brother sister friend family that has been through a lot of hard you know great challenges and overcome them that's a very empowering thing you know when you overcome overcome something that you never thought you would and that's what my channel is about and many other brothers and sisters channels are about to keep us getting to that level that we need to be and maintaining and staying at that level and it's time ladies and gentlemen it's time to break that curse it, it is time to break that generational curse and I'm and that's why I say be a curse breaker you know do the right thing because we can you know we love because we can we teach because we can you know when things aren't right we call it out. Those that are, are are the righteous ones out there know what I'm talking about. And it has nothing to do with cockiness or conceitedness. Is If you can't be true to yourself, then you might as well just give it up. And no matter what we're facing. And like I say, we have to practice on ourselves We on a daily. We, ha we do have to be strict with ourselves especially in this day and age we have to come over we, these curses have to get broken we can't keep repeating the same thing and this is what i've heard from other teachers and i mean it's true it's facts you can't keep repeating the same thing and expecting a different result that's why this curse will always remain that's why i'm here to say ebs cares the curse breaker i'm still a foot soldier salute for my brothers and my sisters my soldiers and soldierettes salute i'm even a soldier for friends you know things happen as we get older you know we take different paths you know i always gotta reiterate my soldierettes my soldiers and soldierettes salute and the reason why i do because what i say ladies and gentlemen reflection keeps you grounded that's why i always say we are all individuals and I keep that in my spirit and I like to put that energy out to others spirit because it keeps us from judging because we got to take the time to overstand where others are in their lives. And we got to stop this little petty stigma judgment thing that we do. We have it bad and I'm, I hate to say it, it's pretty bad in the black community. We still judge each other secretly, whether we and we can try not to show it, but like again, like I said, those with a high vibration can pick up on it, even if they're not saying anything. And it's not about hate. It's not about saying something bad about somebody or gossiping. It's about getting to the base of the challenge, figuring it out, and come out with a good solution and agree to disagree and keep it and keep that universe flowing. And, you know, get, don't get stopped and stagnant by our inner feelings. Deal with ourselves first. See where it's coming from. Don't just attack where you think it's coming from. You know, that's why we have to take those moments and pause for the cause. And you you hear a lot of teachers say, meditate. There's a reason for that. Because it's, it's, a, it's a pause moment. 
It's a stop and smell the roses moment. You know, step back and see how, see yourself for what you are and see her people, places, and things for what it is or they are. And because we got to keep ourselves sane. You know, we need fighters out here. And I consider myself a fighter. And I will go to the ends of the earth through the fucking fire to break the generational curse. Because the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come. You know, there's a time for change. And you got a lot of reachers and teachers out here. And I salute them all. And again, I say, be a generational curse breaker. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. And that's my message. And may whoever listen, brothers, sisters, family, I honor you all, my children, children's mothers, reachers and teachers, friends, may you have peace in your part of the world, wherever you are, right now. And let's break these curses by any means necessary. One.